got a Nick Eklund's truck here, showed up. Super nice truck, very clean build. Somewhat dressed down now so we can work on it. Nice fab work. Like I said, overall clean truck. The electronics just need some serious tuning up, which is why it's here. We'll get into that in a second. Here's the, uh, what do you call that, Brandon? That's just a wiring panel. <laughs> a, do a doomsday board once you look behind it. Dun, 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 dun. So we'll be fixing all that, so. This truck currently has a stock ECM, CM849 out of like a 06, 07, 59 Cummins. So it's got your Nitrous Express maximizer to control nitrous, obviously. It's got a Firepunk and Eater Pro to control the transmission. It's got a smooth stage box down here, another external box to control the transmission. You've got your AEM 22 channel CAN module sensor to go along with the AEM dash. So this just alone was at five different brands of electronics we've got going on here, plus your switch panel up there, there's six. So we're gonna consolidate this all down. This panel is gonna become about a third of the size, maybe even be able to put a nice dash or something over it. So we're doing a PMU 16 Autosport. It's gonna have 200 amps total capacity, 16 total output channels along with the MoTeC. Uh, we packaged up nice in here. Currently have control for three, Got, we've got two stages of nitrous and a spool, but I told them we'd put control for five stages of nitrous total. We're not gonna add it. It's only a single dash six system. We'll let him plummet and add all that stuff. So truck is just here for wiring. Got dropped off on Saturday this past weekend. Pulled in the shop yesterday, Monday, and we're hoping to have it pushed back out in about two and a half, three weeks, ready to pick up. So besides all the basic engine functions, you know, like coolant temp, your EGT, all that stuff, we're also gonna take control of the factory alternator. Uh, we're gonna take control of the electric water pump up here. Factory alternator will be controlled with the MoTeC itself. Electric water pump will control with the PMU. Like I said in an earlier part of the video, we're gonna bring in five stages of nitrous control up here. So we have two on this side plus the purge. We're gonna put three more on this side, so it'll be five total. We're also gonna wire in provisions for a MAC valve so we can run the wastegates with some air or boost control to the top, get something going a little bit better than just uh, on spring only. Another thing with this truck here is like, this truck, for whatever reason, has three different pressure sensors going on. I'm assuming one for the AEM, well, actually four if you include the factory map sensors. So all of this will go away and we'll just use one. There's no reason to have duplicates and all that because we're gonna get rid of those four or five redundant systems and replace it with just one. Another thing we got down here in the wheel wood proportioning valve is a simple brake switch. What we're going to do is remove the brake switch itself, which is just a simple on off switch and replace it with a pressure sensor. This pressure sensor will run to our MoTeC and based on the pressure of the switch, we'll be able to dictate whether or not it's on or off. So it's basically adjustable inside of our software. And this will be the basis of the truck's launch control since this thing is set up for drag racing. So this is a uh, breakout company He's no longer in business. Good friend of mine though. Um, harness for a CM849. I believe this harness will be for sale when we're done here, but this is a really clean way to do a factory CM849 where the CM849 is in the cab like we talked about and the, you know, obviously the engine and the rest of the stuff's up front here. So we will be replacing this bulkhead with one similar to it. However, we'll be adding two. We'll have one bulkhead for all the engine stuff only, a single bulkhead coming through for injector wires only, and a third bulkhead for all of our auxiliary in and out, like our uh, nitrous controls and uh, shock sensors and all that stuff going on. So we're taking Taking out one, replace them with three. Same size screen. This is an AEM. Um, obviously, it works in conjunction with all that stuff. Coming out, get with Nick if you want to buy it. It's probably going to be for sale. Along with some gauges over here, it'll be replaced by this beautiful ECU Masters unit here. So about the same size, same size footprint. This, however, works with the, the stuff that we're putting in. We'll be able to have multiple pages, take control of the lights, all the stuff I've shown you guys already with the ECU Master um, screen as well. So that'll be replacing that. Secondly, we have our keypad here. This dude, all the push buttons that you'd normally have along with a CAN-based keypad, but now we've got knobs. These can be used for different fuel mass, different tunes, different launch RPM. You can use these to scroll through settings on here. Infinitely configurable in how you want to set it up. One nice thing about these that I did learn over anyone else's is, is you do not lose the button function because it's a rotary switch. You still have the button function and the rotary switch with these. That is awesome because this is the first time I've actually held one of these. I've only seen it on the internet. Pretty excited to get it going. So that'll be replacing this guy up here. I'm assuming we'll probably mount it something like that, right? 
nice and up and out of the way. This will be replacing that. This screen will replace that. All of this electronics and wiring mess will come out. Um, we're also gonna suggest that he remove the CO2 and just use nitrous for the air shifter. That'll save some stuff there. The inside of this truck will get simplified. It's already pretty clean as is. Nice fab work, nice paint work, but the wiring is gonna be a tremendous upgrade here. One last thing I wanted to talk about, another part of the video, I discussed the pressure switch. So if you see his brake pedal right here, see that button? That's part of the launch control stuff. So it can be on a rev limiter when it's on, when he's on the foot brake. So we are going to ignore that switch not going to use that at all and just treat the brake pressure as an internal switch that we can dictate the pressure threshold of where the switch is off or on so less stuff going on more simple letting the computer take control of it consolidating all these functions over here in just two or three boxes two boxes really instead of 15 or whatever we've got over here and yeah give us uh what do you say about three weeks and we'll be doing another video backing this thing out making some noise on the dyno and telling them to come get it